Hey guys, we got a new printer. Flash Forge 5M Adventurer. Now, this should be a pretty good printer. It's cheap, it's only 280 bucks. Uh, it's not enclosed, but you can 3D print an enclosure for it. They actually give you the files. So that's some of what we got right here. It's the top plate. And then here is the printer. Pretty excited for this one because for the money, that's a hell of a deal, man. I actually do give you some trimming pliers as well. That's not common that 3D printing places give you trimming pliers. And to be honest, I don't know why, because they know you're gonna need them. So pretty much they just tell you to unbolt this screen, flip it around, shove your Bowden tube down into the sensor, and then they say plug it in and start printing. <laughs> I do love Core XYs. So because this one didn't have a lot of setup time, I actually made my own. So we're going to have to install all this stuff. Let's get cracking. All right, we'll go ahead and take out one screw here, one screw here. And then that way we can fit this. You can see that our door latch is right there. So this will go right here. We'll go ahead and take this and pop it onto our build plate. It's just a little added thing that I downloaded and printed. First, we're gonna start off with A1 and A2. And these actually, you can see on the inside where it says what, what plate this is. So we dismounted the LCD. We went ahead and tossed this on the build plate. It's just press on and you're done. Four screws per panel here. This is A1 and A2. They go on the right front. Let's go ahead and move to this one over here. Now these are pretty easy to tell because that's gonna have your door latch on it, which you'll probably wanna install the door latch before you put this on here. All right, we got the uh, door latch attached to here. The thing that I do like is they're actually pretty stiff, so your door is not gonna flop around on you. So this piece goes right here. Okay, we got these mounted and here's the latches this is actually B1 and B2, so we had A1 and A2, B1 and B2, and then that's for the front, and then this actually is for your ribbon cable right here, so that you don't mess up your ribbon cable, and then that piece will go on there. All right, now we're gonna do these pieces, but on the back. Okay, so you go ahead and you take one of your plexiglass sides, take the, take the film off of it, slide it down in here and it slides right into these grooves on the side and then these actually get secured with you 3d printed some of these and then you actually have to they send you a bunch of magnets and you glue the magnets inside of there and then you glue them inside of here and this is the door handle but these are actually kind of cool though you just go like this boom and that holds the top Okay, I went ahead and put the door handle on. You just secure it with two screws, and again, it's got magnets on it. Let's go ahead and get this mounted up to the two latches right there. All right, we got the door mounted on the hinges. To be honest, <laughs> I actually like that better than the stock bamboo P1S. And honestly, like it latches, it fits perfect. And then your latches allow your door to open all the way up. That is pretty slick. All right, so in the back, our filament sensor was actually mounted here. We want to dismount that. We want to take this filament holder piece and we want to mount it with the other piece that you print right here with the same screws as what held this to here. And then we actually pull screws out of the kit to mount this right here. And now this thing is secure. Two more screws out of the kit actually mount the filament sensor right here. And you can see that it is plugged in underneath there. And then you actually jam two pieces of uh, Bowden tube down here to make this a nice slick surface for your filament to roll on. And then we have a little bit of Bowden tube sticking out here for our filament. And the DIY kit, they actually give you this chain for your wiring and PTFE tube. So they give you a whole top piece for the extruder. 
because you're gonna need to be able to mount this onto it for the chain. And so you have to remove these two screws back here that have this tiny little bracket. And then you remove these two screws here. And then you actually have to remove this sticker on the side. And then you can finally pull this off of here. And then we're just gonna replace it with this one. There we go. And then the front piece is actually just has these two little clips right here, or two little spikes, and then it just magnets on. The piece that connects the chain to the extruder actually uses this weird screw. Let's go ahead and get that mounted. So you can go ahead and get rid of these clips. We're not gonna be using them anymore with the chain. So for the chain, you want the Bowden tube to be on the bottom and the wire on top. And you, you can actually see how it's gonna wind up connecting right here. And then it'll wind up connecting right there. And you gotta just keep working it and working it and working it until you get it all the way in there. Okay, that was a little bit of a pain in the ass, not horrible, but this is what it looks like when you're all done. It actually looks pretty freaking slick. And if you see here, even if you're all the way up in this corner, the chain works good. Down here, the chain also works fine. All the way into this corner, and then all the way into this corner. So that chain should be good. And now, I've already assembled it, but you will need to snap all your pieces together for this, for the riser. You are going to need to super glue in all the magnets. There's a whole bunch of them. It's a little bit fiddly and a little bit of a pain in the ass. And then I actually went ahead and drilled the Bowden tube out, the Bowden tube hole out a little bit because I'll show you here. When we go to put this on, you actually have to slip the Bowden tube right into there and then it comes out right there. And then we can take our top right here and put it on. And this is the reason that we all like this riser so much because it makes it so that the Bowden tube and the wiring doesn't run into the top of the printer like what actually happens on this bamboo P1S, right? It runs into the top. That's why people make risers for this. Uh, I had to install all of the magnets into here, and those interact with the screws on the back of the screen, and then you'll plug your ribbon cable in, and then you can flip this up, and now this is magneted to the printer, and I actually printed a faceplate for it. So the faceplate and this piece right here did not come from the manufacturer. Every other piece on here came from the manufacturer. That looks freaking awesome, man. There's what it looks like from the top with the wiring and the Bowden tube and the filament sensor. Let's go ahead and get some filament loaded and finally turn this machine on. All right, after you get all that sorted back there, go ahead and run some filament right into the Bowden tube. Put your lid on and fire the printer up. So you'll plug it in right there in the back. Turn the switch on. First thing we get is English. And please confirm all packing materials were taken out. The printer needs to be calibrated. We'll go ahead and hit next. Wi-Fi, yes. Make sure that you pull the four screws out where these green arrows are. There, and then there's two in the back. Right there and right there so that the z-axis can actually rise up the bed all right guys calibration is complete super speed flash forge 5m all right let's check out the quality of that benchy that just printed Stuck to the bed, really nice. 
Oh, nice. It's hard to see with white filament. Just how good the layer lines are and stuff like that. There we go. You can see it pretty well right there. Yeah, that turned out really good. Let's see on the bottom. Uh, this is a different model. It has this weird square in the back and it doesn't have writing on the bottom. I'm not sure what they put on the SD card or whatever, um, but it is what it is. And it finished in 11 minutes. And that is my overall build and initial look at the FlashForge 5M. Obviously, there's going to be more to come with this particular printer. But for now, initial thoughts, this thing is pretty fucking badass. And I really love the customization of the Superman theme. Hell yeah.